All right, so today this is just a blog. I'm just kind of, while I'm, I'm doing some more work, um, I'm gonna recondition all three of these, clean some battery acid and things. If you want a guide to this, um, I will link it in the description. This is separate from that. This is just, I figured while I'm doing all this work, I might as well just kind of chat with anybody who will watch this video. <laughs> um, I just wanted to talk about Lego YouTubers, the ones that really stood out to me and inspired me over the years and maybe a little more about what my plans are, which, which keep changing a little bit, but it, it takes time to find your niche and your, your voice and everything, you know, it just takes a little bit of time. So we'll start off with Almighty, Almighty Arjun, and I will link him below. I, I mean, I'd like to, maybe I can show a screenshot of their YouTube or something like, I don't want to use bits of their video without permission. Uh, um, I guess I could reach out to each of them individually. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't, that's an, I don't really know how to get in touch with YouTubers a lot of times. <laughs> like I always make sure to link my Twitter. Um, maybe I'll just throw my email down there or something, but, um, oh wow. Ooh, that didn't look good. Um, you know, I don't, some, there's some things I don't want to just leave a comment. Like I'd rather send a direct message somehow. Um, and in some cases I, I have, um, but you know, not everybody has an easy way to find a way to DM them. Um, cause there's just certain occasions like, you know, uh, maybe they ask about something in a video and I'm like, you know, Hey, I've actually got a short video I could, I could send you that might help you with this. Um, like David Cooties, like I, I sent him again, not sure if I'm saying that right or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I wanted to send him a link to fixing the nine volt wires and um, I just felt it might be a little obnoxious to do that in the comments I don't know I mean I'm I just I have this thing I do not like to self promote <laughs> like to a fault um, you know I'll, I'll, I'll post uh, you know I've started kind of going on reddit um, Eurobricks um, Eurobricks has been good. It's actually kind of driven some traffic over. And to me, it's really not about the videos doing well. It's about helping the most people I can. Um, it's really the whole point of, of this. It's not, I mean, I'm not going to say I will never monetize or never really, um, you know, take any next steps, but that's not the goal right now. The goal is just to provide good ton content and just to help others. Cause I, so many, I don't watch TV at all. Like, I don't watch movies hardly at all. Like it's all YouTube. And I really am so thankful for that to be in the first kind of generation to see that happen in my lifetime. You know, there was, kind of pre-internet days <laughs> dial up and then there was uh then there was youtube and you know there's just some really amazing content creators out there like i said a huge influence of mine is lgr um lazy game reviews clint um it's just kind of like a you know I, I, of course i don't know the guy but it feels like a kindred spirit kind of thing or you know you just you know everything about it. I like his humor. I like his content. Um, I like old computers, like old games. So it is, it's like perfect. Um, so that's that's another huge one, not tech related. Um, and then we'll circle back to, <laughs> to David Cooties. Um, he does just a lot of really good builds. Like I'm really just fascinated with the builds, the classic space builds he does. And, you know, he's still one of the guys out there using RCXs to, um, to add some motion and, and, and everything to his layouts. And that's awesome. There are dozens of us, you know, of the RCX people. <laughs> like, I'm just kind of, I feel stuck in the nine volt era a lot of times, but that's just, that's what I had the most nostalgia for. Um, there's a lot of really cool ways you can use things and do, th you know, like, Every, every time you think you know everything about the 9-volt and Mindstorm system of that era, like, you'll find another guy somewhere and be like, whoa, I never knew you could do that, or, you know, I never tried doing that. Like, he had, uh, David mentioned using one-touch sensor to, 
to go to two different RCXs. And that's like perfect for timing because uh, if you're trying to send like an IR message between them, it might take a little time or, or it might miss the communication. But if it's just a touch sensor, it's basically instant and should be directly in, in time for both of them, especially if you're using one of the faster uh, firmwares. So I've, I've really enjoyed watching his videos and, th and that kind of inspired me to like do videos like this. Like, you know, I'm not expecting a bunch of views, but if two people watch it and have something to comment, you know, that's really cool. You know, I've really gained a lot just in this little bit of time, you know, kind of reviving my channel, um, you know, kind of emailing back and forth with, um, with people I've met along the way and, and me and David kind of go back and forth and I always watch his videos and try to comment um, you know so I'm really enjoying it I mean, I'm getting a lot out of it um, and I think it's only gonna kinda get better with time kinda noticing these 2.0's or uh, without the power jack they, they, I forgot they're a little bit trickier to get apart it seems like than the 1.0 with the power jack um, wow, I'm really getting off on the tangents now. <laughs> um, I don't know how far I got with Almighty Arjun, his work in progress channel, his main channel, you know, his big videos, like just absolutely amazing stuff. Um, and he's, you know, he uses Arduino to do most of his stuff. And, um, that's not really something I do. Uh, I'm not saying I never will, but, um, I, I like to do everything 100% official Lego, even in most cases the software too, just so it's easily reproducible from others. Like if they want to, you know, well, maybe it is a, a custom firmware or something like, you know, this is what I found. I did this with my RCX or with my the power, uh, <sighs> control plus stuff with the firmware there. So you can do some cool stuff there. So in those cases, I will... Um, you know, get a little bit away from Lego, but besides hardware wise, I like to use Lego stuff. Um, I guess I'm done here. I guess we got to move over to the sink and start cleaning some of this battery acid. So I uh, will meet you over there. Um, another YouTuber that um, I've really liked over the years is uh, Racing Brick. And he actually got his, he didn't get started much before I did, <laughs> like if I had stuck with it, like maybe I could, could have been that far already. <laughs> like, I mean, not really. Like I said, I think he's got a, a much more professional um, style, you know, and um, I'm really, it's been cool to watch, you know, a channel, which, you know, I kind of, I had a dim ages where I wasn't really doing much Lego stuff, um, but I came back and I was like, wow, I remember like following him on Twitter five years ago. <laughs> like. Um, and, you know, and he's, he's got a lot of good content and reviews and everything like that. Um, a little bit of humor as well, you know, so I, I dig it. I'm really liking his stuff. And, you know, so over time, I guess I'm kind of picking up these little things from other people. And, um, you know, I've just been inspired by a lot of, a lot of the other guys on, on YouTube and, and women too. <laughs> um. So it's just been really cool. I'm so thankful that I have YouTube um, as an outlet and as a um, inlet, <laughs> as a as an inspiration. Um, you know, because I'm just constantly amazed at what people build and what people do, um, and it's just really great. See, this one's really bad. Oof. Mostly that one. See, this is probably an example of mixed batteries where they had like four new batteries and two old ones um, on the end there. Something like that. Because I've definitely heard that a lot. You know, you do not want to mix batteries, um, you know, different brands or different ages or, or discharge levels. Um, it's just not a good thing. I'm just kind of pulling these out one at a time here. Um, you know, another one, uh, you know, Beyond the Brick, I'm sure everybody's aware of, of them. 
Um, I actually listened to their podcast <laughs> way back in the day, and uh, yeah, it was really cool to see how far they've gone. Like they're they're really like big time now. <laughs> but I remember um, I can't remember the other guy's name. The guy that did the podcast with well, there was a couple. It seems like I don't know. I was I actually kind of sought out several different um, podcasts in, in that time period. Wow, this one's like stuck in there. Shoot. Um, might have to get a screwdriver or something. Ah, like, I don't want to... Wow. It's like welded in there with gunk. I guess I can try to... I'll um, submerge this because I'm going to submerge it anyways and see if that helps it to, to free it up. But that was really cool. I remember I was trying to find like their old vlog videos, um, or not videos, they were audio back then. Um, I think I was missing the first few episodes of it because even back then, just as a podcast, before they even were on YouTube, I wanted to see where they started from. I want to see the very first episode. Um, that's always an interesting thing to do. If you find a YouTuber you really admire and look up to, um, or, you know, a whole channel it might not be just one person. Look at their first video. Um, and a lot of, if you watch videos about how to grow a YouTube channel or start or all that, they say that too, you know, go look at your favorite YouTubers, very first video, and you can see where they started. You can see, it's just, it's really, it makes you feel better about yourself because nobody's first video is awesome. Like, I mean, some people do it. But it almost, it kind of limits their growth to have one, unless, unless it, it just absolutely goes viral, nobody might see that video. And that was my issue. I've had a personal channel for over 10 years um, and just uploaded all kind of stuff. And I actually have some Lego videos on there too. They're pretty awful. <laughs> and, you know, eventually I started this channel. Uh, you can hear it bubbling up. <laughs> um, I wanted my videos to be very polished. I um, I actually found notes the other day that I had planned to that this would be like an episode of a TV episode. <laughs> it would have an intro, and it'd have an intro segment kind of thing, and then it'd have like a little segments like you know oh this is helpful tips or this is how to do this and then it'd, it'd go into like maybe each episode would have a mock showcase of something i'd built and the first episode of course was going to be the nine volt um well okay technically not a mock it's a mod um of the rcx code pilot i'd built and that was the first video i ever uploaded um you know, looking back, like, no, of course that doesn't work, especially on YouTube. That's just not how people consume content. Um, it's not really what they're looking for. <laughs> but uh, it was kind of funny to go back and see that. But, I mean, I kind of grew up watching um, some shows like that. I remember um, it was a computer channel called Hack 5 way back in the day. I mean, we're going way back. When they first, very first started, very first episodes, first season, I loved it so much. They were really cool people. They had some amazing um, segments on, on their show. And, like, you know, they were all interesting. Um, they were varied. Uh, they had, you know, different people come in and, and help out along the way, different um, people in their videos. It was really, really cool, and I guess that's what I was trying to emulate. Um, you know, they're still around, and they still have a YouTube, and that's still um, pretty successful, I guess. I haven't really watched it lately. I'm not as interested in that specific subject matter now, but... Um, and they've kind of changed over the years, I guess, too. Or maybe, I don't know, I just haven't really checked them out lately. And I know the show is very different than it used to be, because um, that charm that they had—they had little skits, like you know, it was like commercial, like skits—and I always loved that.
So I feel like uh, maybe I'm kind of really rambling on net by now, um, but that that was kind of the discussion today. So be sure anybody say anything you want in the comments. Like I'm I'm curious what your favorite Lego channels are, what you look for in a Lego channel. Do you have your own channel, and what do you what lessons have you learned, and what are you trying to provide to the the YouTube community? Um, you know, I'd encourage you to stay with it. It's it's really fun. Um, um, it's a learning process. You don't just go in and um, start making banger videos <laughs> every week or, or however often you upload. <laughs> um, it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, a lot of learning. Um, but from what I've seen from all the YouTube channels about YouTube, just upload. Um, you just get some stuff out there. Um, your first stuff never going to be super great. Like the, there was, there's already been. A few times I kind of flew too close to the sun trying to make these awesome, really complex videos and eventually um, just scrapped the whole thing. So I'm like, I'm not really ready for this and I'm having a lot of issues. Um, you know, I, I want to kind of take my time and learn some lessons before I get to those bigger projects. I don't want to get too, too big for my britches, as they say <laughs> in, the, in the South. So... Yeah, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, you know what, what kind of things would you like to see on this channel? Um, you kind of, if you've seen any of my videos, you kind of see where I'm coming from and what I'm focused on and what I'm good at. Um, and I've still got so so much to get out over time. It's just, um, like I said, it's a learning experience. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> dropped a battery compartment. Um, but I'm really excited about it. Um, like I said, I've already gotten a lot out of it. A lot of, made a lot of friends, um, and gotten some, some nice comments. You know, anybody, if, if I had uploaded my NXT repair video, a repair alternative video, um, and one person said thanks in the comments, like it would have been worth uploading it. And right now we're almost at 10,000 views. Um, and I, you know, I still think it was a good video. Like God, I mean, the, the, the lighting, like it wasn't great, like quality, <laughs> but I really put a lot of work into that. Um, and I think it shows and, um, and I have got a lot of comments of people being appreciative and that, that just means the world because that's really the only reason I'm doing any of this is to help other people with, with their problems. If I know about something that I think is cool with Lego Mindstorms and I don't see videos about it, I'm like, okay, well, it's on me. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll get some stuff together and upload it. So, um, that's kind of what I'm doing. So yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride. Um, like I said, just, uh, make yourself heard in the comments. I, you know, I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.